sufficient. Mm -hmm. So what is the immediate need according to the Madhara Social Justice Center? And what are you seeking to do to support them? The immediate needs according to our assessment right now is food, first of all. Um, people are so hungry, were shaking yesterday. Mm. Uh, so food, providing warm uh, food, and then places that they can sleep in the meantime, mm. as we had said, mattresses and blankets and mm. warm clothes. Because you can see it's still raining, the cold weather in Andalaya. Mm. So immediate needs ni is all. Uh, warm clothes and then books for the stu uh, pupils that are going back to school. Mm. A lot of books, uh, a lot of uh, bags mm. and mattress and uh, uniforms. Mm. And then uh, for the women and girls, we still need uh, those sanitary uh, needs. Mm. How are you, um, you know, putting funds together? I mean, I ask is that how is it happening today? Who is doing it? Who is coordinating? How is it coming in? Uh, we are working together with various organizations uh, within the community, within Madare, the justice centers. We are working with Gator Foundation uh, and Madare Network, and we are trying to see how we can mobilize uh, for more resources online. We are working with M Changa, mm -hmm. pay bill number, and uh, some who are not able to use either the M Changa or the pay bill number, they can send directly to uh, the phone number. We're also receiving donations in kind. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to distribute them door to door to the affected families. Because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes uh, uh, verification of data is very important on who has been affected and reaching to the victims themselves. Um, so that's how we're trying to coordinate this and setting up community kitchens to the various areas that have been affected. So we have a community kitchen in Brady, Madare, we are setting up three more community kitchens along Mabatini area, mm -hmm. uh, along uh, Madari 4B, and along uh, VET in Madari. You've said we very many times. Yes, we. I'd, I'd like to understand this we. Yeah. Who are we? We are the, the people. <laughs> <laughs> you know this work needs a team. You cannot yes, do it does. this work yes, alone. Yes, it does. We, we want we to highlight it. these people so that we know yeah, who they are and the public knows who they are. This is the Ecological Justice Network yes. uh, under the Madari Social Justice Center. Mm. This is the Teen Moms Network. This is the Dobi Women Network. Uh, this is the Ghetto Foundation. Uh, this is uh, a network of Kenyans that are just giving support. We've had support from uh, University of Nairobi students who have mobilized among themselves. We've had support from uh, Java Foundation who brought us breakfast uh, on one of the days there was flooding. Mm -hmm. We have seen the love that Kenyans have for each other in this time. We have seen a lot of Kenyans. Don't be afraid to mention those who have supported you. I want to support, I want to thank Sarika very yes. much, who yes. has been every day calling to ask Wanjera, what do you need? Wanjera, what can we do? Wanjera, how can we mobilize uh, better? So Sarika and Johanna uh, have been very uh, helpful during this time in our networks across uh, the world as Madari Social Justice Center. And um, our advisory council, Arnav Kapoor, also at uh, MSDC, has helped us uh, really get support. Now we've Van Stapel. Um, the support that we are receiving uh, across the country, and we, re we are really grateful for the solidarity that Wakenya Kenya mm. Yeah. So this is the thing, um, Wanjira, even as you do that, you, even as these activities continue, you know the mobilization of funds mobilization of you know um a, a lot of these items that people need the truth of the matter is that the the rains will continue mm -hmm. this is what we've been told i've actually just seen you know another alert from kenya met now and we're talking about quite some more intense rain over the next week until at least the 5th of may right the question is and Waziri has said this a number of times. Are we looking at a situation where if folks are asked to to leave, right? Yeah. Will can they? Uh, I'm asking this in as sensitive a way as I can. Yeah. Because we, if folks are be like this money that's being mobilized, if folks are told mm -hmm. move to an area where we will not see this kind of intense flooding where your homes will be destroyed or where you'll be marooned again. Mm -hmm. Would people go? 
I mean, if you say, look, go find another place where you can rent for 2,000 shillings, 1,000 shillings. Will it happen? Will it happen? I think will it will happen. Will they go? I think it will happen, but I, I don't think it's a sustainable solution mm. in, the, in the long run because uh, month the month will end. Why would they get this 2,000 again to parent? So this is the assumption, yeah. right? That folks are doing something. Yeah every day mm -hmm. where, where they lived mm -hmm. that there's some kind of economic activity that they're involved in that's that's whatever level mm -hmm. they were getting something to to eat mm -hmm. every day by by virtue of the fact that they did a job whatever it is one mm -hmm. that was the assumption right because you lived you ate mm -hmm. your children went to school mm -hmm. before the rain came and kind of washed everything away mm -hmm. so the assumption is that that activity will continue or are we saying that the 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 flooding situation came and literally <laughs> and figuratively washed away everything including the work or jobs that they had to do absolutely okay if you are cooking every day for food. community members yes okay your kazi has gone mm -hmm. so you're trying to figure out how do i start again okay so if you get some money to relocate you're asking do i set up my business do right. i relocate okay i hear you yeah i hear you so like for example if folks were if you had a uh, a a border border business for example yeah you were doing it in the area mm -hmm. and now there's no area literally that's what we're saying mm. there's no area or even there's no border border because it went because it, it went with the water this is the severity of what we're talking this is about. the severity of what we're so talking it's not about. just a solution where i tell you well here's ten thousand bob no. you move and let's keep it moving it's right it's not sustainable essentially we're saying okay so what happens when i'm at the end of the rent yeah how do i survive how do I every move? day how, how how can you come up with a sustainable solution mm. long long term yeah okay. that's are there, are there ideas being discussed mm. in this? oh we are having a, a a meeting this evening uh at the center this afternoon when i leave to think about uh how best we can do this uh, for our community even as we seek to partner with waziri mm. when we sit down as a team what solutions can we also try and and because the, the solutions must come from the people the people must say this is what we think mm -hmm. would work best for us at this particular time yeah okay so now you're mobilizing mm -hmm. um people who are watching and listening and people who will catch this information later how do they support uh, they can send support in kind or in cash to our pay bill number just give me a moment to read that mm. uh, but we're receiving donations uh, and a lot of donations i also want to thank washera who came with a lorry of clothes yesterday at the center she must be a very good community organizer as well having convinced her community to uh give us give donations to the people of madare it's a truckload of clothes yeah that came yeah that, that is one serious person. That's a very good. That news. is, yeah, Washera Dande mm. Asante Sana, my dear. Because then also, if if you can, you know, link people up with various people such as Washera, Washera mm -hmm. can then, you know, communicate and say, if you're in this kind of neighborhood, this is mm -hmm. how we can do it. If you've got maybe clothes that you'd like to donate, you can then donate through your, you know, community neighborhoods and yes. the food and I mean the clothes or whatever else you're donating. Because like you're saying. Even just sufuria, kijiko, kikombe, Kila sahani, muiko, kichungi, yeah. all those things are needed and, and the people would appreciate them. So that entire network, as you give us the pay bill, mm -hmm. also give us the network. Somebody who is listening to this and they're in South B, South C. How awesome. can they, and they have got, they're, they're looking and they're saying, I can actually donate one or two things. I can donate a karai, I can donate a, a towel, I can donate... Or old clothes, where can I drop clothes? Kind of thing, you know? A set where of can, spoons. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a set of spoons. Yeah, and I also want to thank Lily, who has offered her car to go and pick donations from various places, from various people who are not able to come. So she says, if anyone has something to give and they call you and they're not able to, give me a call, Nitaenda Nichkue, Nizilete Center. So thank you so much, Lily. Uh, for that. So this thing that Waziri talks about where he says that Kenyans ought to come together and actually help out the government because it is a national, it's a, it's a national calamity. Yeah. Kenyans it's already, already happening. It is. It's yeah, happening. It's happening already. Yeah. Okay. You know? The pay bill number? Our pay bill number is 4060187. 4060 187. The account name is the Madari Social Justice Center but for short MSJC. 
Mm. Other Mother Social Justice, Justice Centre. Yes. That's the account number, account name. That's the account and name. And then you put in whatever amount, of course. Yes, right? put in whatever amount, even if it is 200 shillings. It will go to buy a packet of unga that we shall cook okay. for OJ. Drop off points. Drop off point is at the Madare Social Justice Centre, which is along Juja Road, mm. opposite Shell Petrol Station. Madare Social Justice Centre, along Juja Road, opposite Shell Petrol Station. Okay. There's proper signage someone can see? Yeah, there's a proper signage. All right. And so there, there are those then that are saying, if you are, you know, a community mobilizer and you're able to mobilize your community to get those things, get clothes, get uh, utensils, get whatever is needed by somebody who has, who's alive, but they've lost everything that they had, yeah, you know, shoes, utter socks, like like, it. everything. How can they get in touch with you? They can come to our community center or uh, we will be at various community centers. These people wearing ecological justice uh, reflectors. So mm -hmm. they can get in touch with one of our team members and uh, to put your documentation. Are you on social media? Yes, we are on can social media. Can they DM media. you on social media? You can DM me on social media. Are you media. responsive? Like, do you respond after three days? Ha, no. <laughs> One week? <laughs> In this period, I am uh, receiving so many uh, calls, but I am also checking my DMs on Twitter especially. Okay. So I will get back. What's your Twitter handle? My Twitter handle is at Wanjiru Njira. At Wanjiru Njira. Njira. The name is Nzalendo Wanjira, but okay. the Twitter handle is at Wanjiru Njira. With mm -hmm. ends before the J's. Yes. In both cases. Yes. Mm. Okay. And what about people who want to volunteer at the centre? Mm. Uh, Karibu, we need volunteers now to help us cook in the various community uh, kitchens we have set up to help us cook and maybe serve and to Naitaji uh, volunteers. If the only thing you can do is volunteer your time, get in touch with me as well. We can make arrangements. Um, the, uh, and I raised this with the Waziri. Now that schools are closed and we've got the Dishina County kitchens, um, have you thought of reaching out to them and saying, what's, what's the organization called Food For? Nice. Hmm? Um, we to food, talk food, food for Education? Yeah, Food for food Education. For education. Food mm -hmm. for education. Mm -hmm. Reaching out to Food for Education, they have done this. They do this all the time. They know how to mobilize, so how to do central kitchen, how to distribute food.